Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from Heart. So we're going to do your April 2019 reading for you today. Um, it's your general and your love. If you just want to see your love reading, just go down to the comments. It's timestamped and the reading's there. You can just kind of click on the timestamp and go through to the love reading. Um, if you want to see your general, just look at your general. You'll look at both, look at both. Completely down to you, my darlings. Um, you've also got your April week ahead, not April weekend, 18th to the 24th of March, 2019 week ahead reading up as well. You can also check that out. Check that out. Can't speak today if you fancy it. Uh, also, just to let you know, if you'd like to order a private reading with me, you can just click on the eye icon above, somewhere hovering around above. Uh, click into that, takes you through to a link, and there's my website. All right. So for your reading, my darlings, what are we using? We're using the Wheel of the Year Tarot just for some the advice. So this is just looks at what the focus will be for the month. We then use the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Pally, favourite deck at the moment. To elaborate on the story, we look at the past situation, the present and the future. We use the Bonfire Tarot to get any clarifiers if we need it. But this is also used for your love reading. And the Celtic Lenaman will clarify anything in the love reading. Okay, hope that makes sense. And let's make a start on your reading. Sorry, the reading's not too long. It's just like, my goodness, I've had to put up 24 readings because I'll do week ahead now. But also I wanted to put up the monthly. So it's been really hectic along with the private clients and everything. So pardon me if I'm real quick on this, okay? Uh, let's have a look. I guess that a lot of people just like the readings to be really quick. Okay, so what is the uh, what is the focus for the month for Leo? Okay, that's yours. Ten of Cups, that's nice. Jumped right out of the bat. Uh, focus for the month is going to be on family. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Cups represent love. They represent emotions, but they also very much represent family relationships as well. So for some of you guys, Ten of Cups will be the focus will be on family. It will be on the people that you love, the people that you care about. It'll be on creating or sustaining a loving, contented, fulfilling um, family environment. For some of you guys, it might be to do with a relationship with a partner. This is the greatest relationship you can... Well, it's not... Not really. Not. I mean, look, I'll try and be as honest as I can with these cards. You know, I, I'm not going to bullshit people. Ten of Cups, I've been at the Ten of Cups stage with someone. And then three weeks later, it's turned to the devil, you know? So this is nice when you're in it it's a good card to get for love i'm not saying that it's temporary but it's an emotional card your ten of coins is the better card to have because the ten of coins talks about sustainability and building the ten of cups is all about that emotional satisfaction if you want sustainability with the ten of cups you're going to have to have built it prior you know with the ten of coins needs to come before to see you know if this can be sustained but other than that, it's a lovely card to get because for some of you guys, the focus for the week is on family. It's on friendships. Ten of Cups is also about the communities that you are in, the communities that you work in, the communities that you involve yourself in. So this could be a working community, but you'd have to be friendly with the people in it. This could be in the area, the housing area that you live with the Ten of Cups energy. Uh, the Ten of Cups could be, you know, um, you know, the wider community out there that you guys involve yourself in. You know, because this is all about networks and people and community. So some of you guys are very much focusing on your community um, in April 2019. And again, as I've mentioned, some of you guys' relationships, partners, children, uh, extended family. It's just the love with the Ten of Cups energy. Also, because it's number 10, this is uh, references something coming to the end of its phase. It's a completion card, so it might be the focus that I'm completing something. Let's get a what's happened in the past. It's really nice focus for the month, that is, actually. Let's have a look at what's gone on in the past. What's happened in the past with this situation? For Oh, right. First of all, the Queen of Wands, which is you, Leo. You can either be Aries or... So Queen of Wands is either Aries or Leo, so that's you. So in the past, this is you. Feeling really good, I feel. really Feeling really confident. Um, uh, I think some of you guys were extraordinarily busy. You look like you were instructing something. It looks like you were also getting a lot of tension. If you look at the Queen of Wands... There are certain cards within the tarot, Leo, that speak of characters who do certain things. Queen of Wands is an actress. She gets a lot of attention. She gets a lot of recognition. She's also attracting in attention. So some of you guys, a lot of attraction in the past, attracting in a lot of stuff, a lot of people being kind of very attracted to you, getting very recognised for your skills and your talents with that Queen of Wands energy. I'm seeing fearless energy here. I'm seeing leadership energy here with you guys in the past. With the Queen of Wands energy. I'm just seeing a lot of confidence from you, uh, Leo. Which is what you're renowned for anyway. With that Queen of Wands energy. You're always renowned for being quite confident people. Uh, and you've got the lovers. 
See some of them in the past, some of you guys have attracted in a new relationship. The lovers is all about a union. So this looks like it's going to be love in the first reading, I'm afraid. Attracting in a lovers, attracting in a new relationship with the lovers or attracting in a partnership doesn't have to necessarily be love with the lovers energy. But the lovers is all about having a balanced, harmonious partnership. So some of you guys really just attracting in balanced and harmonious relationships with that lovers energy um, showing up there. Some of you guys, if you're already involved in relationships, you're feeling really confident, really happy, really joyful, really enthusiastic about a relationship for some of you guys. Uh, I feel in the past... Um, showing here uh leo which is really lovely energy however we do have the five of wands energy there has been however i feel some conflicts that you guys have experienced so i do feel that some of you guys in the past attracting in attracted in sorry could have also been a gemini individual showing here uh with the lovers energy lovers also means communication so some of you guys initiating communication with the lover's energy. I think it's a couple of things really. I think in the past, looking at these few cards here, uh, this is all about you guys kind of attracting in new love with the lover's energy, a harmonious, balanced relationship. Somebody who probably felt like your soulmate. However, I do feel there's been a little bit of uh, raw energy showing here, possibly a little bit of uh, challenge. I'm not saying it's major challenges, but five ones can be bickering or just a little bit of a challenge going on there. I think for some of you Leos also, it might be that you have... Because she's got a, a wand, so she's inciting something here. Some of you guys might have started inciting some communication. Uh, lovers represents communication. Could be with a group of people as well. So some of you guys, five of wands would be kind of like, well, I'm not really in a relationship, but I'm just kind of talking to loads of people at the moment. So you might have been doing that for some of you Leos also in the past. Now you're thinking in terms of uh, April 2019, um, Leo... Uh, the way that your mind is kind of working, the devil, okay, the focus is on the devil. I mentioned that before, I think I did. So it might be a Capricorn individual, but the devil can also be about over excess of overdoing something is the devil energy. The devil can also be about demanding. So when you're doing the devil, you're demanding something. Your focus is on the devil, though. You're thinking of the devil. Your mindset, where is your mindset? Your mindset is on the devil. This can be wealth. This can be um, uh, an excess of materialism, sex, money, food, wine, jewellery, uh, the latest clothes. I think that your focus, you know, with the devil energy, I, I'm overly abundant stuff, this is over excess or this is demanding with the devil energy. You're thinking of the devil. So you might be thinking of someone as being a devil, you know, somebody as being a little bit evil or difficult with that devil energy. Um I feel that you're starting to review someone. It's almost like there's the thought process for you guys. I think that you met someone. It seems to me with the Queen of Wands energy, you attracted in uh, a lover. Someone that you felt really, really close to. But I feel that there's been... Five of Wands doesn't even have to be bickering. Five of Wands can be worries. There's been some worries here. Uh, the thought process for you guys showing up so far is that you feel that this person, it's almost like you're thinking, you're taking a step back to review. You're like, hmm, not sure. Hmm, not sure whether this person is no good or whether this person is a liar or this person. Devils show us liars, deceivers, taking the piss individuals, whether this person is actually pure, whether they really want what I want with this devil energy. It's almost like you don't trust someone. Right now, mentally, you've taken a step back to review with that, with that seven of coins, whether this person is the devil whether this person is kind of just out for a good time maybe this person has other intentions than you do devils really would just want sex they don't want anything deeper than that so it just feels to me like some of you guys are taking a step back to review whether this person's intentions are the same as yours yeah and i feel that there's a lot of pressure here with the ten of wands i feel that you guys are feeling a terrible terrible amount of pressure concerning this because I just feel that there's somebody around you that you don't trust. You met them, it looked really good, and then things started to happen. You're like, oh, that this doesn't feel right. And suddenly you've taken a step back and you said, actually, I don't trust this person. I feel that this person... And it doesn't even have to be romance. I feel that this, you know, this could be anything. This could be meeting a new friend at work, or this could be meeting a new friend socially, or this could just be getting to know someone. It seems to me you thought somebody was really great at first, but now it's almost like this person's showing their true colours. Uh, and it's putting a lot of pressure on some of you Leos. Going into April, what we're seeing uh, for you guys is uh, the Seven of Wands. I feel that you're taking a stand with the Seven of Wands energy. Seven of Wands is a protest. It's taking a stand. So I feel that you're taking a stand with the Seven of Wands energy against this person. Some of you might be blocking this person out. Seven of Wands can show someone who's rejecting another. 
So I do feel that you're taking a stand with the Seven of Wands energy. Um, and I feel that you're asking for the truth, the Page of Swords. I think you take, because if you look at the Page of Swords, he's inquisitive. So usually the Page of Swords is going to ask you a question. All right, he's going to be honest. He's going to be upfront. So you're taking a stand and I feel that you guys are being really honest with someone going forward. I feel you're taking a stand and you're going to kind of say, you know what, actually, I've got a question to ask you with this Page of Swords energy showing here you know you want the truth with the page of swords energy and you've got the five of swords energy but i feel that there is someone here who is angry about this i feel that this is someone here who is kind of um you know um i feel there's somebody it feels like with the five of swords this person's not happy about this it seems like they get really angry about it because i feel with the page of swords energy how i read the page of swords when it's upright it either means small talk or it means you're researching something about this individual um, uh, with the Page of Swords. You're doing your research. You're finding out knowledge with that Page of Swords. It can mean an argument as well. But the Seven of Wands, you know, it could be the outcome shows kind of facing a challenge. Maybe there is an argument with the Page of Swords energy in which with the Five of Swords you might end up casting this individual out. Five of Swords for me is the card where we're casting people out. So it might be looking at those three cards there, the Seven of Wands, that you're forced to do something here. You're facing a challenge and you're forced to do something. Might be because Seven of Wands also means brute force. So you're forced to, with the Page of Blades energy, be honest with this individual. Maybe some of you guys decide to cast this person out. Maybe you're ending something with this individual. Or with the Seven of Wands, you kind of say, you know what, I'm going to take a stand here with the Page of Swords. Because he's looking through, he's like, whoa, look at that. You know, he's not afraid to pick up the snail. He wants to see exactly everything that's going on. That's why he's got the magnifying glass. He wants to see everything. He wants to see every hair, every piece of slime. He doesn't, most people, I wouldn't pick it up, but he does because he, want, he wants to learn something. So some of you guys are taking the stand. I feel that you want to learn what this person's motivations are because I feel the Five of Swords is very much the devil. The Five of Swords can be somebody who is being um, manipulative. I think that you want to find out with the Five of Swords energy maybe what this person's motivations are. Is this person's motivations to be manipulative? Are they trying to manipulate you? Are they trying to hurt you with the Five of Swords energy? You're trying to find out, well, where do they stand? You know, what is their, what is their, what is their, what is their jam? What is it that they want? What's the motivation for what they're doing? Because I just feel that you guys aren't trusting someone here. What we're going to do, we're going to get, um, we're going to hone down on the card. Right, you've got this Ten of Cups being the focus for the month. I think the Ten of Cups, number one, the Ten of Cups will be on, uh, for some of you guys, it will be on the family. So the focus could be, this situation could be involving the family, perhaps. Um, the Ten of Cups, the focus for the month, the energy for the month is surrounding family matters. Ten of Cups energy, friendships, somebody within the community. But the focus for the month might also be, for some of you guys, it's bringing something to a place of completion. Ending something in the best way, uh, which can be what the Ten of Cups is. Now, uh, we can see here, uh, the central card I also focus on here, which is, uh, it's a month to take a step back and review. Um, because the Seven of Pentacles for me is a card about a transaction. It's about a trade-off. So you're reviewing a trade-off here. Uh, but who's doing the trade-off, Leo? Is it you or is it this person? Because this devil here is demanding a trade-off. If you think about, for example... Uh, the stock market and the devil energy would represent somebody who was if you think back to the 80s they were all about the money so they you know they sold a lot of stuff on, I don't know anything about the stock market by the way but this was all about doing things in excess you know and sometimes when we do things in excess it's like selling the soul so sometimes there's a trade-off on this with the seven of coins energy and sometimes you know if this, there's a trade-off this can kind of work to the detriment of you so for some of you guys, it might be here that what you're thinking is shit, you know. In the past, I attracted in this amazing lover, this amazing person. They were smart, good-looking, sexy, or I attracted in this amazing friend. They really got who I was. They were really kind to me. Uh, I don't think that this is necessarily about a family member, but I feel it's about somebody who feels like family, which is the focus for the month, because family members... You don't necessarily attract the family. You know, you're born with family, you know, with friends and lovers. You attract them. You don't necessarily attract the family, do you? But I feel that this is somebody who feels like this. And um, I feel in the past, uh, 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 Leo, you guys are showing us the Queen of Wands energy. So you've got the wand there and the wand attracts. So you have manifested, you've brought in with this Queen of Wands energy, a lover. Somebody who was fun and 
vivacious and somebody that you had a good time with and someone that you enjoyed their company and it felt like nothing on earth and it just felt incredible the whole thing just felt like wow I've attracted in this new love part. I'm just putting some cream on my hands because I've just noticed how crusty they look on the screen. Um, you know, and you've attracted in this person and it was kind of like, wow, this feels like nothing on earth. It feels amazing. But I do feel that, you know, as time has gone by in the past, um, Leo, that what you've felt with that five of wands is a little bit of confusion. I feel that this is more about confusion. Uh, I think that in the past, this energy that you attracted in with the lovers, this kind of person that you felt really complete with i feel as time has passed uh with the five of wands energy it's kind of like you felt confused and worried and i'm going to see why there has been worries we'll get the celtic letter man out and have a look at those through it why has there been worries concerning this situation for leo why have they been worried about this person in the past for leo in two cards um the tower so the tower represents somebody who can be distant okay and then you've got the whip energy here so the whip can be like something that is repetitive so or constant so i feel that there's been worries because this person's been constantly diff uh, constantly distant because the whip this card here number 11 it can mean sweeping things clean can mean arguments um so and the tower can mean serious this, this could be serious arguments for example uh the whip can also mean that you're getting hurt uh this can also be a card about sex so maybe somebody didn't want sex the tower means to be distant as a person this is somebody who seems to be very distant in relationships this could be maybe this person doesn't want sex but this can also be where something is constantly done because when you do the whip it's like like a repetitive action so there's a repeat of the tower happening here and if this is distant somebody has been just turned the words around consistently distant so so there might be you know you're attracted to this amazing person and then what happened was you started to get worried with the five of wands because this person was kind of like being consistently distant from time to time with the tower and the and the whip energy here and right now your thinking is is that you know the seven of coins i need to take a step and consider this devil or consider you know what is this person's i think that you're considering them as the devil so you guys are right now you're thinking to yourself the seven gods maybe i should just kind of take a step back before we decide to trade anything here with the seven of coins because remember the money's being offered to the woman here she's selling her cushions he's offering her something and she's like mm, let me think about your offer so some of you guys are taking a step back to consider um an offer from this individual or you're taking the time to can you know to review this individual the devil energy and why does the devil show why is this person is it there might be a capricorn if they're not then they're showing up as a devil for a reason probably you know and devils aren't consistently i mean yeah de otherwise this is a liar okay because this person's probably been quite a bit distant i feel with that tower and the whip i think this person's been really distant in this relationship and you're taking a step back and saying i need to review this devil why is uh, leo calling this person the devil in two cards um right because of the the sky now scythe means decisions or to get hurt but the if you look here the sky the handle is here now when you get the sky and the handle is pointing here the next card tells you what's being gathered in this person has lots of friends see the cat could for you females the cat would be the female right so this person if it's a, you're a female well, you've probably got lots of friends when you get the handle pointing towards another card it's telling you it's coming in it's being gathered it's being gathered all right this the card the the sky is here anything uh, to this side says it's being cut this side says it's being gathered so here this you could you consider them a devil you don't trust them because they've got lots of friends so this person probably has a lot of female friends or maybe you know a lot of male friends males can be seen as a cat you know a lot of friends this person has and you're like i need to take a step back to consider with this trade-off i've got with this person or whether i want to trade anything with them you know whether i want to have some form of you know relationship union with this person I need to consider this union this relationship because this devil has lots of friends and i don't really trust what their intentions are and you seem to be feeling really burdened here with the ten of wands and what is a what is a uh leo feeling burdened about with this ten of wands energy um right there's a man showing here the male is number 28 showing here um man and the fish so this can be a wealthy man or a man who has a wealth of 
you know, uh, toys. It reminds me toys because this is a child. But, you know, it, the, what jumps out to me is that he's playing with a toy. So it's almost like the friends are toys. They're not like... They're not like long-term relationships. These are people that he just sees as being commodities more than anything. This man has a wealth of toys or a wealth of commodities, people that he turns to whenever he feels like it. Or if it's not a man and it's a woman, maybe they have the energy of a man showing here. And they've got a wealth of toys or commodities that can play because the child is playing with a toy. It just jumped out to me the, 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 the word toy. So, and I feel that you're burdened because you know that this person has a lot of other people around them. You know, a lot of people, and I feel that this person, you know, uh, at first it was everything was great, but now you're really worried because this person's consistently, you know, distant with you. And also because you've had some serious arguments or something within the relationship. Um, this person here, your mind is, I need to review the transaction between us because this devil of mine has lots of female or indeed male friends. And I'm really burdened by the idea that this person has a wealth of commodities or a wealth of, of toys that they can turn to whenever they feel like they want to do that. And I feel that uh, going forward, this is all about you taking a stand. Uh, what I mean, I feel that you're taking a stand. And I feel that with the Page of Swords, you're examining this person's intentions more than you ever did before. Because the Page of Swords is examining the snout. He's looking at every single nook and cranny. And the Five of Swords can be, you know this person's mental intentions as well are they just playing you you know are they taking advantage father swords shows someone who's taking advantage i feel you're taking a stand by probably examining every single nook and cranny what are their intentions also the examining with the page of swords is probably looking around online probably look and also if you look at this five of swords she's got the sword up so she looks like she wants to keep somebody out you know, with that five of swords, it looks like she's guarding something to me. So it might be you guys taking a stand and you're examining what this person is trying to guard. What are they trying to protect? Are the two people behind this person, you know, are, is it their lover, for example? Five of swords can also be about cheating as well. So I think that you're going to be looking and examining what this person's been up to. So are you guys possibly looking at their email accounts, Facebook, that type of thing, or just getting the truth out of them? Asking them with the page of swords, what is your intention? What's your game? What are you up to? What's your intention concerning me? All right. So, yeah, it's a kind of a love reading, um, I'm afraid. I didn't mean it to be, but it's turned out that way. We're going to have a look at quickly at your love reading then. We'll have a look for singles. Show me, just show me singles. What's happening with singles and love? Let's just try and turn this around a little bit here. It looks a bit lopsided. Universe Spirit, show me what's happening in sick for singles and love. What's the energy for singles and love in April 2019? Okay. Okay, so um, the tower, wow, that's the energy. Uh, something unexpected could be happening. Towers also represent realizations and, re you know, realizations and truths coming out. What happened in the past of this situation? What's happened in the past of this situation for Leo? So you've got the uh, King of Swords, okay? So this could have been a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual, somebody who was quite conversational. A male or female who was probably quite serious with that king of swords. This could also be a partner that you divorce from. Sword characters usually show as exes and people that you're divorced from with the king of swords energy. Um, I feel that you've withdrawn. You've cooled off. Some of you guys, Leo, have cooled off. Or a king of swords has cooled off from you. Or you've cooled off from a king of swords energy. You're on a break. Probably from some of you guys from an individual showing here. Um, and I feel with the age of wands, you're probably either contacting other people or this person who... Uh, withdrew from you is probably with the eight of wands energy uh you know going out there and making contact possibly um and also calling contact so some of you guys it might be a case of that in the past uh king of swords called down on contact with you or you have called down contacting with a king of swords okay um right now uh for you if you're single what's your thinking going forward into april what's the thinking for uh airy not aries leo going forward into april oh, well, that's one that wants to come out okay so oh my god we've got the devil again showed up in your last reading your thinking is about the devil all right so this is changed some of you guys if this person's kind of called it with you the difficulty is kind of letting go of that you know, because the devil's cards are twin flame energy, man. It's the nastiest type of karmic tie you can get. So your thought is on the devil. Could be a Capricorn individual as well. With the, Oh, wow. Um, emotional ties. Devil and the king of... Because your thoughts going forward in terms of love is that you are very... I think some of you guys are very kind of bound 
uh, King of Cups energy showing here. So usually when you get the Devil and the King of Cups, this person has like emotional problems or they've got kind of problems with drink but it's nothing like that because you've got your thoughts are on the devil so you're thinking going about your love life into uh, i feel that you guys can't let go i feel i feel that you're still very emotionally chained to this individual showing here okay with these energies showing up i think that you're emotionally very chained to this individual here um two of wands energy showing up here okay uh two of wands is all about options being at a crossroads so i think the thought pattern is some of you guys are a little bit at a crossroads here i feel that you're still emotionally very chained to this individual i think they show up as the king of swords and the king of cups all right i feel that this person here um i don't see them as be actually being bad i feel that this person was extraordinarily talkative with the king of swords energy very very smart with the king of coins energy king of swords energy but also very nurturing and very understanding here for some reason i get the impression that this person withdrew their contact with you so this person is no longer contacting you leo and i feel that the thinking for you guys with the devil energy is that you are very kind of chained i think that your thought pattern is i can't let go of this person here this king of cups this is where you're at a bit of a crossroads with the two of wands energy i'm a bit of a crossroads because i just can't let go of this individual here i think this is someone you really cared about guys really cared about going into april what have we got going into april for leo concerning this situation uh well this could be reconciliation you've got a two of cups showing up here going into april so two of cups can be reconciliations or unions oopsie daisy and two more cards flowed out here oh wow the ace of cups and the chariot okay it could be reconciliation this but this could be a new relationship ace of cups is new relationship okay so this could be kind of getting to know someone this could be a new relationship moving forward with the chariot some of you guys it could literally be that you've got a new relationship coming in here this could also be reconciliation though potentially even though we don't have the six of cups present and we don't have judgment present could still be potentially a reconciliation so for some of you guys it could be that you're reconciling with a past love i'm intending to think this is more about new love though a new relationship so the outer cups is new and this is relationship new relationship uh moving forward coming in chariots mean to come in arriving okay so it could be new relationship is arriving for some of you guys okay so i feel that really uh for the month in terms of love for you uh singletons uh what's happening here and i feel that this is the energy is you know expect the unexpected because i feel out of the blue for some of you guys something will come in all right with the tower energy um king of swords uh in the past i think this person I think that this person actually um, withdrew contact. Contact is the eight of wands. This is withdrawal and this is the person. So this person withdrew their contact or stopped contacting you. They cooled down on the contacting. Uh, the devil energy, the thinking now is with the devil energy. Your mind is very bound up by this individual here and you're at a little bit of a crossroads concerning that. You don't like feeling like this, but you can't stop thinking with, about them. I think somebody is coming in and the energy with the tower is also about being freed. So I get the impression that the energy for love for the month will be that you're actually being freed from something here. All right. Finally, you're being freed. You're being able to kind of remove yourself because the devil and the tower, even though that can be quite an abusive and a quite a difficult and um, um, uh, qu quite um, uh, what's where a violent combination, it can also be removing and releasing oneself from the chains. And I feel that uh, what's going on here is that there's a release coming in as well for the month that you need to focus on because I do feel in the outcome this is a new relationship here, one in which with the chariot energy things are moving forward or this could be a new relationship with a Cancerian individual or maybe when you're out driving or out on a trip with the chariot or you're out on a, you know, travelling with the chariot, maybe you meet someone, new love showing up here, maybe you'll meet someone when you're kind of going on a, a trip or something like that. So even though I feel that you're still attached to someone, uh, Leo, I do feel that you'll overcome this or some of you guys, the universe might just send you somebody new in so it helps you to forget uh, this whoever this particular person is but i do see for some of you leos perhaps something new in terms of love coming in all right that is your reading my darlings i'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe and have a great day take care bye bye